In this one, we're going to learn how to basically average out a set of values by using a method in the parents keyword in it. So create this basic code template and then type static and then double. So double because it's going to return a double data type. And then call it average. So average this way. And then, because we don't know how many values we want to average out in advance, it could be 5, 10, it could be 3, who knows, type parabs. And then the name of an array, like double and then R, okay? Again, params, you need that so that you can specify an arbitrary number of values when you use the average method. It's not fixed to only 2 or 3 values. It could be 2 or 3 or 10 or 15, whatever. It's better this way. Okay, the double is a data type there with the brackets and R. So we're declaring a variable named R, which is an array variable. Now in the body of main, the basic math that goes into computing an average is add up values and divide by how many there are. There are. That's the basic math behind computing an average. So to implement this in code, you do something like for each var c and r, that means you're going to iterate for each value in r, add up all of the values, so you need a variable to store the sum. So usually we do something like double sum equals zero. Again, initialize this to zero, not five or ten, because then you would be distorting the sum. So for each var c and r, type sum plus equals c. So this just says go to the array and add up all of the values in the array. And then at the end, once you've done that, because the math says you got to first add up the values, the part is done, then divide by how many there are. To find how many values there are, you just divide by the length of the array r. And then you do return that. So you can type return sum divided by r that length. This says, this is the code-based version of adding up values in the sum variable and dividing by how many there are. That's equivalent to dividing by r that length. That's it. That's the average. Sum divided by r that length. Now that is done, you just invoke it in the body of main by using, for example, console that right line here. All right, and then we're going to use string interpolation. It's a dollar symbol, double quotes, then we'll say average. And again, because we're using the params keyword up here, we have flexibility in how we invoke our method. So we can type average, if we felt like it, 1, 2, 3, with only three values. It's always a good... So it was a good decision, I would say, to test with a simple set of values like 1, 2, 3. Because in this case, average is known to be 2, the middle value. Which means when our code runs, it has to also return a value of 2. Or at the end here, we definitely don't want that comma, okay? And then run that, so start with that debugging. Alright, so it says the average is just the way it's supposed to be. That is correct. But now, change it up. Remember, because we're using the params keyword, we can average out 1.5, we can average 2.5. 2.56, 3.23, whatever, 8.45, 1.098. In other words, the number of arguments can be varied as needed, and the params keyword handles all of it. So run this again, start without debugging, and tells you the average is 3.3676. Now here we have four numbers after the decimal point. That could be fixed with rounding. So in other words, this is what I mean. Take a look, pull this up a little bit. The rounding is up to us. Maybe you want to type double, for example, AVG for average. And then you can do something like this, math.round. So use the round method in the math class. And then it says decimal D. That's okay, we're not going to use that version, right? We're going to use this double version that says math.round double A. So in our case, the double we feed into the round method can be the result of calling our average method. So in other words, you can call average right here, right? pass in some values, pass in some values, 1.5, 2.56, whatever they happen to be. It doesn't really matter too much like that. We're going to get rid of this call right here for now. Just get rid of that. Keep the curly braces. So you get average out. And again, put your mouse over the round method. It has... Seven overloads. Remember what an overload is. That's just a somewhat modified or slightly different version of round. So here you can put this. After you call the average method, you can put a comma and then it says int decimals, integer decimals. In other words, you can specify how many places you want to round to. So if I wanted to, I could put a two in there and it's going to round to two decimal place numbers. And then within the curly braces down below, type your word, AVG, like that. 
So when you pass one method into another, when you, in other words, call average and then you call round, we call that method nesting, because the average is called first and then the round is called second. So whatever whatever average produces, that output is fed into the round method second. You see in that sequence. So start with the debugging, and it tells you the average is 3.94. And notice that here for this output there are two numbers after the decimal point, the nine and the four. Terminate this, again, vary this parameter here. So change it from two to three, and then run it again. So start with the debugging here, give it a sec. Okay, now as you can see, after the decimal point there, we have 3.935. There are three numbers after the decimal point. But that's really it. So I would suggest that you run all the code, make sure you type it and all that. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're into C Sharp. I'll see you on another video.